So this piece is um, titled Bear in Mind. It has to do with stress and how worries have a way of getting into our uh, consciousness, oops, sorry, and into our consciousness and just festering there. So wanted it to be a bit disturbing and a bit um, unpleasant to look at. So it took me three days total for this one because, well, no, four days, I guess, because I built about that much um, just up to there uh, on a Sunday. And then I built the shoulders and head face all in one day. And then the next day I built the uh, brain and the bear. And then it took me one more day to paint it. So I guess that's four days total, but it was only a couple hours per. Um, I'm planning on putting... Um, Papers coming up, encroaching on the neck and face, um, like to-do lists and bills, um, maybe some medical bills or a foreclosure thing or something. Um, we'll see. So this next piece is titled Dichotomy. It um, is examining the uh, relationship between... Um, techno-utopianism and anarcho-primitivism. Um, the idea behind it is that um, there is a split in philosophy between the two. Um, the uh, techno-utopian side is um, lacks critical thinking in many ways and is only looking forward to the um, good in technology um, without considering the possible ramifications, thus the um, the whole, which, um, so it's losing sight, and then the other eye is an oculus because of the, um, because um, we are living in a much more mediated world. We are seeing things through cameras and uh, media and television um, far more than just actually going and experiencing it for ourselves. Ironic when I'm doing a video. And then plugging in, which is fairly obvious. Um, then this side is um, the anarcho-primitivist uh, side because um, the anarcho-primitivists would have us uh, reject symbolic thought and technology and some of the more extreme would have us go back to living in a pre-agricultural society or lack of society community I guess um, the eyes are feline so that um, because they can see in low light and see clearly um, which is why I was thinking um, of, uh, with the theme of sight. Um, and then inside of this, it's kind of hard to see if you're not looking at it in person, which is one reason why the mediation is bad. There's a skull, and it's um, to show that the anarcho primitivist is uh, their ideal. Um, lifestyle, which is pre-agricultural, is long gone, and we cannot go back to a time prior to symbolic thought. And the um, flip, flip side of that is that the um, techno-utopian is killing us inside when, because we are not living authentic lives. Um, and then there's a big split here, cracked, which is... I don't know, kind of goes with the theme, but I just need to fix.
fix this and possibly just remake the entire piece because now that I know how, it won't be so hard. This final piece is just a um, abstract without much thought behind it. It's a um, pit-fired piece I've titled endoplasmic because it reminds me of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Um, the colors are achieved through the um, firing process, which we did out on a beach. We dug a huge pit in the ground, laid down sawdust, um, put down our pieces with seaweed and uh, copper and sodium and salt and peanut shells and other weird things, and um, then put the wood on top and burnt it all day. Had a big potluck. It was a lot of fun. Um, so this one doesn't really have any message, but that's it is what it is.